Fall is finally here, which means linen shirts, linen pants, polos, and suede loafers don't work anymore. So what are you gonna wear? Well, I've got 11 items that you can wear this fall to create the old money aesthetic, starting with our most basic and most essential item, the wool trousers. Specifically, pleated trousers, because pleated trousers are gonna give you the most sophisticated look, and wool, because it's going to keep you the warmest and it's gonna be the most durable. When it comes to your fit, remember, always keep things tailored for the old money aesthetic. Can't wear baggy pants to achieve the old money aesthetic, it doesn't work. When it comes to your colors, neutral colorways, black, browns, whites, navies, beiges, you guys know the drill. And also, FYI, I will be linking all the items that we talk about in today's video, as well as alternatives in the description below. Now, the second pair of pants you're gonna need are some chinos, and you're gonna stick to the same parameters as the wool trousers, just make sure they're well-fitted, also in the neutral colors, and these are basically going to be your pants for more your casual outfits. Now, on to the fun stuff, the sweaters, and our first sweater is the cable knit sweater. Now, the cable knit pattern on this sweater is going to be key to making the crew neck actually look opulent, more sophisticated, sophisticated. And the beautiful thing about this sweater, as I've said plenty of times before, it can be styled by itself. It looks so good with that pattern. You don't necessarily need to layer on top if you don't want to, but you can. And when you do layer on top, anything can go over top and it's going to look really good. And also, if you want to look like the ultimate tool, you can throw it over your shoulders and tie it in a knot. And then you can go on your daddy's yacht. And the second sweater you'll want is my beloved quarter zip sweater. Now, as much as I love my Axel Arigato ones, these are too oversized to fit the old money aesthetic. You're going to want to look for something more similar to the fit of this Everlane one. It is slim enough that you can put something underneath and it's also slim enough that you can throw on a jacket or whatever else you'd like to throw on top. And the third sweater you'll need, my personal favorite of all time, is the long sleeve sweater polo. Now this is a damn sexy garment. You got a few options when it comes to this. You can go for the Johnny collar, which is the one with the big V where you're showing off some of the cleavage. You're not so slutty. You're more reserved. You don't want people staring at your chest. You're going to want to go for the one with the buttons. Either way, each one looks good. It's completely up to your style preference. Moving on to a plain but crucial item for layering on top of is the turtleneck slash mock neck. Now, both of these items are going to instantly increase the sophistication of your outfit as well as increase your ego. It might be due to the subtle asphyxiation that happens around your throat because I shit you not, you will think you are that guy. You're not that guy. Now, depending on if you want to layer something on top or if you want to wear it by itself, it's going to depend on the one that you choose. If you go for something that's chunky, that's textured, this can be styled by itself and look very nice. But if you go for one of the slimmer ones, I would say that you'd have to layer on it just because it might look a little bit too basic. Now, moving on to our first top layer item is the knit over shirt. Now, although this is kind of a leisure looking item, it is still quite refined and it's extremely versatile. This would obviously be used for a more mild temperature day. You're not gonna wanna go out in the freezing cold wearing this, it's not gonna keep you very warm. But you can layer this on top of your t-shirts, you can layer it on top of your turtlenecks or your long sleeve polos, and it's gonna look great. Next, we have something kind of similar to the over shirt, and that is the knit zipper cardigan. Now this looks far less granddad than the ones that comes with the buttons. I wouldn't suggest doing that. I'd get the one with the zipper because I think it's a lot more modernized. Although this is the old money aesthetic, I want you guys to look good and look your age. I don't want you to look like 100 years old. So I'd suggest getting this one. The rib texture makes it look a lot more refined and it's still something that can be layered on top of as well as have other layers underneath if you'd like. Next up, you're going to need a proper coat. Now this coat could be an overcoat, could be a trench coat, could be a waistcoat. I think 99% of you guys, if you're like me, you're probably gonna like the overcoat coat the best and I think this is going to work for most people. Key thing to remember when purchasing an overcoat is to make sure that you can fit multiple layers underneath. That's the purpose of the overcoat. You're supposed to be able to put two to three layers underneath it. Don't have it so tight that you can only fit your short sleeve tee underneath. Keep that in mind as well as when you go to buy this, it's going to cost you a good amount of money, guys. It's not going to be a cheap item because it's a lot of fabric and if you want something that's good, you're going to want to go for wool. So you're going to be looking in that $400 to $1,000 price range. Moving on to a casual layer, we have the puff for gelée. Now it's key with the puffer gelée to not go too puffy with this because we want to keep the proportions all the same. You're going to want to go for something a bit more on the flatter side. When it comes to patterns, you could go for a quilted one, you could go for a ribs one. And the beautiful thing about the puffer gelée is that it can be layered on top of anything. It can go over your knit polos, you can go over your cardigans, you can go over your quarter zips. You got plenty of options when it comes to layering. It's honestly a great item. Now starting to move down a little bit, a little bit further than that. Yes, there. When it comes to your footwear, leather sneakers or suede sneakers are going to be ideal, mainly due to the fact that those types of materials are the most luxurious. You're also going to want to keep a slim, minimalistic profile. We're not doing any chunky shoes, just a nice slim one, just like Axel Arigatos, which I always preach. They're gonna have you covered there. Unfortunately, guys, your Air Force Ones and your Camdas Vans will not do for this style. Now, our next shoe is a leather loafer, and as the old money aesthetic is a quite formal style, you're 
you're gonna need a leather loafer. It's gonna be essential for any of the times that you guys want to go out and dress up. And when it comes to the color that you choose, black or brown is going to be ideal for 99% of you. Which one you get first is gonna be dependent on what colors you typically wear.